Hi, I'm Tamara and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about depression or feeling sad. So think about the last few weeks. Have you felt really down or really hopeless? Maybe you don't have interest in the same things that you normally have interest in. It could be because you're feeling really sad. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video about anger. Now the thing about anger is it's more of an outward expression of emotion. And so it affects and impacts a lot of people in its path. Whereas um, sadness or depression is more internal. So there could be a lot of people around you and you have no idea that they're feeling really sad or really down. And you want to know the number one reason for that, that I think anyway, is because it seems like in this society, we treat sadness almost like it's a disorder, like it's a bad thing. You're a bad person. You're terrible. You're weird. You're strange. You shouldn't be feeling that way. Um, it's very, it's a very lonely emotion because it makes people feel isolated. So if you're feeling really sad, the thing that you want more than anything is to feel happy again. And some of you are so far removed from happiness or you felt sad for so long, you don't even think it's possible anymore to feel real happiness. You feel like, what is that? I didn't even think that someone like me could even feel any type of happiness anymore. It's just not possible. But I'm here to tell you there's hope, there's hope, there's hope. It is possible for you to experience joy and happiness again. You're just going to have to really work at it and take action. It's not one of those um, emotions that just goes away without you doing something. You have to take steps to get there. Before I really get into this topic, let's just have a moment of honesty, just you and me. I think a lot of depression and sadness comes because there's something in your life that you want and you're not getting it. So what is that thing? What is that one thing? If this world could be any way that you wanted it to be, what is that thing that bothers you so much, that frustrates you so much, that's in your way, that's keeping you from true happiness and joy? Um, and I want you to write it down. And it's personal. You don't have to share this with anybody, but I do want you to tell the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth, you're never going to get to the root cause of why it is that you're feeling this way. Is it because of your involvement with another person? Maybe something that they do is bringing you down. Maybe there's something that you want in your life and you just haven't gotten there yet. So the first step is I want you to write down what is that thing that's in the way of your happiness. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to make a plan. And it doesn't have to be a big, long, drawn out plan. I just want you to write a couple of sentences about what will it take for you to get there? What will it take for you to actualize your dream or that frustrating thing or that hurt? Maybe it's um, maybe there's a parent that you you're disconnected from that you um, long to have a relationship with. What is it and what can you do to get there? Can you accept um, the fact that that thing that you really want or that you really need or that's really hurting you might never get resolved in the way that that you want it to. So if that's the case, how will you handle that? How can you take the steps to accepting it? Are there some things that you can bring into your life that will bring you uh, some joy or some satisfaction that can kind of help take the edge off of whatever that thing is. But what I want you to do today is start dealing with the truth and stop hiding it and stop lying to yourself. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's explore sadness and depression a little bit further. She said because she's not part of the group and she wishes she was part of the group so she won't be so lonely. She said because the boy isn't with her and she, he is with someone else instead. Sometimes people hide their feelings through a mask and when they're alone they show their true feelings.
So what is depression? Most of us experience what's called situational depression. Situational depression is like when you experience a traumatic event that interrupts your normal life. It could be a divorce, it could be a loss of a loved one, it could be um, loss of a job, retirement, um, loss of a friendship, maybe you've moved to a different location. What has triggered your sadness? So what are some signs of sadness or situational depression? It could be you're not sleeping as well as you normally do, you've lost your appetite, or you've gained an appetite. You feel more fatigue or decrease in, in your energy. You're having trouble making decisions or concentrating. Another thing, are you feeling irritable, grouchy, restless? Um, believe it or not, you could be depressed and that's why you're feeling so annoyed all the time, frustrated, um, physical pains and symptoms, you know, just not feeling well. That can be a sign that you're depressed and also feeling down, discouraged, hopeless, and even guilty. So how can you handle depression? First of all, realize that your depression will lift gradually as you start to take action. Don't let that stop you just because you don't feel better tomorrow or let's say you feel better for a few days and then you dip back down. Don't stop working hard to feel better. Confide in someone that you trust. You can also avoid isolating yourself and allow other people to help you. And remember, emotions are like waves. They go up and down. You know, so you might be feeling sad one minute and then 30 minutes later you feel a little bit better. So just know if you're in a really bad state, that state is not going to remain that way. It's you're going to come up at some point. It's it kind of goes up and down. Exercise. That's the best thing you can do, but it's the number one thing you don't want to do, feel like doing when you feel really sad and depressed. You just want to disconnect. You want to lay around. You don't want to move. You don't want to do anything, but that's really bad. Get up off the couch and move. So within the next couple of days, I want you to find something that excites you, that gets you going, something new, a new hobby. Start setting boundaries. Are you taking on too many responsibilities? Figure out what your story is. Sometimes people have a thread of depression that's just looming beneath the surface because they haven't dealt with some issue in their life that's been lingering for most of their life. Go ahead and delve in. Let's figure this thing out today. Let's get started. And that would be a great, great reason to go to counseling. So let's talk about some surprising symptoms of depression. Pain is a symptom of depression. So when you're in a negative state, you're more than likely to feel pain more acutely and be more sensitive to it than you normally would be. When people who are unhappy anticipate pain, their brain activity shows higher levels of emotions and less of an ability to cope, which makes it harder for you to cope with the hurt. So basically your coping skills and mechanisms go down. The things that you usually use to feel better, it doesn't work as well anymore because it's competing with all the sadness that you're feeling inside. Another symptom of depression is that's a little surprising is you feel nothing. You feel blah, you feel blank. Things that used to excite you make you feel like, hmm, okay. I feel nothing. Over drinking can also be a sign, a surprising symptom of depression. So, you know, maybe you drink, you usually drink one drink and it kind of takes the edge off, but then you find yourself drinking two drinks, three drinks. Now you're going to start feeling more irritable and you're going to deepen your depression instead of lessening it. So get help if you know that that's you. And then another surprising symptom of depression is indecisiveness. You can't make a decision, not even about the littlest, tiniest, simplest things now those things are monumental tasks instead of the little tiny things that they really are so another thing that you need to keep in mind is that stress can be the beginning of a state of depression so if you're feeling an enormous amount of stress you have too much going on too much to do too much coming at you you need to figure out what are some ways that you can reduce your level of stress. You need to make some changes to your life before it gets out of control and replace it with things that you want to do. So ask yourself this, what's something that you really want to do? It can be crazy. It can be outrageous. It could be, but what's something that you think would be so much fun? Make sure you talk with friends, read a good book. Um, sometimes when you can read, it can it help you to escape and go to another place in your mind. 
um, drawing or painting, uh, write in a journal. You might even consider, um, if you don't have a pet, because I know pets bring a lot of contentment, they can bring blood pressure down, They there's a lot of great things about having a pet. And get regular sleep. Make sure you're waking up and going to sleep at the same time every day. Sometimes when your sleep cycles get way, way off, that can cause you to feel really down and depressed and you don't understand why. It's because you're not getting enough sleep. So don't be afraid to see a doctor. Sometimes a doctor, if it's really, you're really in a deep state of depression, can help you by um, prescribing medication to you to um, help you raise your endorphin levels. That's really, really important. I wanna leave you with something that I think can help you. I really like this. A friend of mine gave this to me recently and I wanna tell her that I love it. Her name starts with an A, you know who you are. She's been super supportive. That's just her nature. She's very positive. But um, I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds to read it because I think if you do some of these things, it will really help you. Okay, well that's it folks. Um, I hope something in this video you found encouraging and helpful and that it at least starts you on your journey to feeling better, to feeling more at peace. You deserve to feel peaceful. You deserve to feel happy. You deserve to feel content in your life and you can achieve that. So if you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. You can always go to your internet browser and type in Tam's Psych Advice. And that's two words. Psych Advice is one word. Uh, check back every Monday. I'm going to try to put new video to help you guys. And please share this video. The purpose and the point of it is to help somebody out there because a lot of times people don't even share with you that they're feeling really down and really sad. So we don't want anybody to feel that way. So anyway, I hope you enjoy your day. Bye.